medical mobile unit, we um, provide pregnancy testing and ultrasound. We discuss life issues with the client, see what brought them to the mobile unit, and then um, we try to connect them to resources that, that's available in the community. Well, in the mobile unit, uh, we typically will have an RN or a nurse practitioner, a client advocate, and um, sometimes a volunteer, and most definitely the bus driver. Um, everyone has a really specific role, and uh, I think we work, uh, we're able to kind of cross train and cross work. Everyone kind of knows what everyone else is doing, um, and just able to support one another. Right now, the bus is out three days a week. On Tuesday, it's in Western Heights. On Wednesday, we're at, on uh, Merchants Drive, and we park in Wallace Memorial's uh, parking lot. And on Friday, we're on Cherry Street. Our services on the bus differ just a little bit from the main center um, because we are there to do mostly pregnancy-related services on the bus. At the main center, we also provide STD testing. So we're, um, we do services to test for STDs and um, at the main center we also are there to provide uh, material assistance and, and that's through giving parenting classes that we do once a week, usually on Tuesday nights. And our clients that we see on the bus, if they um, have transportation and are able to get to those classes, then they're certainly welcome to go join those classes as well. The big difference is atmosphere. Um, the bus is a little bit smaller, and so um, we want to be able to make sure that people get services in a very timely manner. Um, so I think the biggest difference is not really necessarily services, but definitely atmosphere. Um, we're here, we're in the community, it's just so close. And that's probably why people love it. They know they can come on and get off in a really timely fashion. What I love about this mobile unit is that we get to put feet um, to what we do in the center. Um, there are so many people that aren't able to come to the center and so we, in essence, are coming to them. Um, I love the fact that we can be, bring the very best to people that are used to just getting whatever's left over. Um, when they step on this bus, it's usually eyes big and, oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's more than I thought it was gonna be. And we wanna to present to them um, that God wants to give us good things um, and that he came and gave us this amazing bus um, because he wants us to show his love so very tangibly. Um, so when we go out and we are the, the feet of Jesus, just bringing hope, so what we've so often just done at the center is being, being able to bring hope to a community um, that otherwise probably wouldn't see it. We, get, we have a unique opportunity to be very accessible to people um, that aren't able to come to the center. So this is really accessible to the working poor and to the very poor and the people just driving by. So with that in mind, we see people really at the heart of their struggle. So we've seen some really difficult things, some really heartbreaking things, mainly because we're here and we're literally on the front line. Um, but because we're here and on the front line, we can be of such great purpose and impact. The, there's been um, several women that we have gotten to have relationships with on the bus and um, there's one in particular that boarded the bus um, an older woman I know everyone thinks that we are here for either teenagers or younger college-age students but this particular woman boarded the bus and was older and had um, three other children and she was very broken um, because she did not want to be pregnant again and um, so we we took her in and we um, we were allowed to just love on her when we determined that she did have a positive pregnancy test and we offered to do an ultrasound we went back and did the ultrasound and lo and behold 
She didn't have just one baby, she had two babies. She had twins. And when she saw that she was not blessed with just one life, but she had two lives, um, she was pretty overcome and overwhelmed, but she also had big tears of joy.